Welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna start the intro a little differently. Um, I don't know if anyone actually listens to it, but I don't know. It just seems a little bit long. We'll see how it goes. But this is my work from home or just my work planner for July. This is the very last spread that I had for July. Now, before we go ahead and do the after the pen, I'll go ahead and insert footage here of the breakfast and lunch I ate during the work week of July 27th through July 31st. Once I'm done with that, I'll bring you guys back. Hi guys, uh, it is Monday, July 27th. We were really fortunate in that we just got a little bit of rain, but the hurricane just passes by, so yay. Uh, working from home today, I was scheduled to be in the office, but they closed the campus, so we're just working from home. And breakfast is banana, Cheerios, and the Walmart brand of Raisin Brand crunch. I'll see you guys for lunch. Lunch for today, Monday, July 27th, is some fried noodles. It's actually what we call American style, so it's just pasta that has some bacon, onions, and eggs stir-fried together. Uh, this is actually leftovers from Saturday, but it's still good, so I'm going to have it. You can see peeking on this side is some ketchup and Tabasco, and then last night we had some leftover cucumber and onion salad, and that's lunch for today. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday, July 28th. I want to get this before I forgot. So breakfast is a tuna sandwich. I don't know what it is that they do, but I am obsessed with their tuna sandwiches. And then for lunch, I've got Salisbury steak with mushroom gravy. Um, I think here it's called hamburger steak, but whatever. But that's lunch for today. And then a huge cup of 7-Eleven coffee. And that's my meal for today, or meals. Hey guys, breakfast for today, Tuesday, July 20, oh no, Wednesday, July 29th, is a turkey sandwich and an apple. And that's breakfast hey for today. Guys, lunch for today, Wednesday, July 29th, is a mishmash of leftovers. So we had Popeye's chicken on Monday. And so we had leftovers for dinner last night. We had a couple of pieces of chicken leftover, so I made a chicken salad. It wasn't quite enough, so I also added a can of chicken breast, um, the, the one you get from Costco. We had a little bit of mashed potatoes. We had a little bit of some corn. I added some hot sauce. These two are hot. I warmed them up in the microwave. This is cold. Yeah, it seems like a weird mishmash, but one, I'm hoping it's delicious because all the separate components are, and two, it's the, last of the, it's the last of the leftovers. So tomorrow it'll be just some other kind of leftovers. I'll see you later. Good morning. Breakfast for Thursday, July 30th is a bowl of cereal. I've got the Walmart brand of Raisin Bran Crunch as well as some Cheerios. Hi guys, lunch for today, Thursday, July 30th is, remember that chicken salad I made yesterday? Yeah, so I'm actually still eating <laughs> leftovers from the Popeye's chicken, but it's good and this might be the end of it. I don't know, there's a little bit left, so who knows, you might see chicken salad on the menu again. And I also have a small apple. Um, I grilled the bread um, instead of toasting it, one, because butter but also um, it makes it softer and not as crunchy and then I wrap it in foil paper and then cut it in half so that when I'm eating it I can still um, look at YouTube or work on the keyboard and not get my fingers dirty yeah I know <laughs> but that is lunch for today. Hi guys good morning it is Friday July 31st Happy end of July. Happy Aloha Friday. Breakfast for today was a hash brown, but I ate that already. <laughs> and then a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. I know I should work the value meal, but of the McDonald's breakfast sandwiches, that's actually my favorite. And then for lunch, I've got a chili dog with cheese and an apple, and I'll wash that before I eat it. Okay, 
So I actually really liked the functionality of this. I think I mentioned in the setup of this spread that this will be the last one that I'll be doing on camera with you guys, uh, just because I don't know that I'll be able to change it up very much from week to week and it is a little different from what you generally see in a bullet journal style video because all of this is really either tracker or task oriented it's not oriented by a day and in a bullet journal you generally still have the days of the week that you're tracking along with and i do sort of and i don't but i will be starting a bullet journal series definitely at least for the month of August because I really like bullet journals and I really like these little booklets. I just didn't think that the work related one and the way that I do it um, can really expand much more by way of conversation or layout or anything like that, but I did have fun with it. Um, I actually really like having the to-do for the incoming week, the to-do for the outgoing week, or the incoming, oh wait, okay, let me see if I, I've got this right in my head. So this to-do list is everything that was here brought over. So I know what it to start it with that particular week. This is what I did at the end of the week because this is what I'll need to remember um, for next week. Yeah, so I, I like that. I like having that. Uh, I've mentioned this a few times now. Uh, the projects that I'm working on are, are kind of big and ongoing, and so I don't need a ton of space. And because of the way that I write, I can actually, in this space right here, I could have actually done two columns worth if I really needed to track that much. I didn't. I added some stickers after the fact. I really like that. I really like having these little stickers here to add in as I go along um, so that I can start with something that's initially a little bit plain. It doesn't matter if the stickers actually match the entire vibe. They just make me happy. They always make me happy. So I'm going to continue that. Now I will continue doing a work planner. I've actually found that I've, I find this really helpful to see on those days when you think you've not gotten anything done. You've actually accomplished quite a bit. Um, and whether they, they need it for work or not, I, I think I'm going to continue that. And because the system is so small and so portable, um, I don't think it's going to be that much for me to set up and, and put together. But as I mentioned, I will be doing a bullet journal series. Hopefully you guys are interested in that. Now for this side here, again, regardless of the amount of space that I have, I can always fit in um, the tracking of the meals that I've eaten just because I can write really small and I do have pens that will allow me <laughs> to write really small. And for that, the high tech C in the point three is my favorite. This actually worked out a little better than I thought it would uh, just because I didn't plan out correctly enough space to get five full days in the horizontal so I just sort of snaked it around there and I can certainly see um, what I drank or how much I drank for the day and then this I've been doing I like being able to color it in and then just doing a yes or no before I was xing it out but um, even though I would know what that meant um, Sometimes when I look back at it, I'm like, okay, did I exit out because I went outside or did I exit out because I didn't? So this is very clear. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. <laughs> and then I liked having this on the side to tell me when my Zoom meetings are. I just, I really like having the at a glance kind of thing. So if I need to refer back to, was I in the office? What time was our Zooms? Did I hydrate? What were my meals? I can go to specific sections for that. And that's why I like um, just checking out the, the different layouts for the month. And so this was our monthly overview. And to be honest, um, the monthly overview generally isn't something that I ever need or use, but I have found it really helpful in this. And so even in the one uh, that I'm doing 
for work again that I won't be filming. Um, I'm going to continue to do this just because I, I find that it helps me just see not only, you know, because working from home or working in the office, you know, that's that's going to be what it is. But it's more if I've got upcoming due dates for the month that I need to keep track of, if I'm taking vacation days, if they're holidays, I just like being able to see it um, at a glance on paper, depending on where I am, that just might be really useful. And this was the first layout. Again, for this layout, I think the boxes and the beigeness really stand out. There actually aren't a lot of extra stickers. There's a lot. There was a lot due, so that's why there's a lot of writing here. This one again, a little bit more stickers, but definitely more beige. more beige again <laughs> but there's actually a little bit more stickers going on this one is really colorful and that's because I knew I was only th working three days in the office that week on um, the other two days I was on vacation and so I took up a lot of space the blue really pops and I, I like the tan and there are quite a few stickers there and then this one, actually, the entire one, um, is actually the most colorful with the pink and the tan. And I think with the exception of this one, maybe even a little of this one, all of the other stickers kind of blend in. So if you hadn't seen that other video, you might have thought they were already placed on the page just because of the coloring. But th they weren't. They were done after the fact. And then here... Last month I had done a what worked, what didn't. I didn't really feel like doing that. I've been on the computer um, all day this week and then between the computer and Animal Crossing, my hands just hurt really bad. <laughs> so I just did a quick lettering. You know, I, I could have done some more, but that, that's all I was interested in doing. And the quote is by Maya Angelou, and it says, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. And I, I really liked that, I really did. So this I actually will store with the other one that I did, which was this one right here. And this was the work planner that I did for the month of June. And again, I know for some people, the size of this is problematic because you want to have more at your fingertips, but I like having these separate little booklets. Um, they're easy to tuck away, plus to me, they're just way more manageable. And in the bullet journal series, I know I keep promoting that, sorry guys, <laughs> that I'll be doing, it's actually gonna be in something like this, just because for the space that I have and the functionality that I want, uh, this, is working perfectly for me. All right, so in the comment section below, guys, I want you to put a favorite quote of yours, whatever kind of quote it is, happy, inspiring, snarky, whatever, please make it PG. Um, I know that there are some people who watch who have children, and I don't know if they're also reading the comment section. And I just, you know, I'd, I'd love to see a comment section just full of of quotes. Hopefully they're funny or happy or inspiring, but whatever just um, is your favorite, I'd love to know. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.